Good day for you. So I got this old VN Commodore cluster, dash cluster. I got the um, TAC Commodore out very carefully. This is very delicate, by the way. So yeah, I'm going to try and um, hook this up on the van. I'll see how it responds to a four-cylinder engine instead of a, of a six-cylinder like it's made for. It has got this little adjustment on the back. Little um, potentiometer here, so not too sure what that's actually for. Although, um, this is specifically designed for a V6 and that little thing there is for fine tuning or these are also working V8 model engines and they just tweak that at the factory so it measures the RPM or what, but either way I'm going to try and see if it um, works in a four cylinder. Here's a little um, the motor, just a coil and moves along a magnet and moves up the needle as um, more current goes to it from the signal from the coil or like a, a pulse drives it and it just turns that pulses into a movement of the needle. So if the engine's doing 2000 RPM, there's a certain pulse going to the coil that's driving the coil and they would convert that into this motion on the needle here. And obviously it goes stupid over the top, it goes all the way around. So if you don't connect these to your coil packs properly, they did jump off the scale a bit. Where the parts come on that did that, they um, had a bit of dirt in the um, connection on the coil pack the pins that signal the taco and when you get a rivet, um, rivet and have a, have a bit of hooning around with it this will just jump right over and go all the way around so yeah so I need a couple of jumper leads so I've got two I think I might need three for this I've have, uh, had a bit of research done on here so I've got positive which go to your accessories the ignition your switch that one is signal so it goes to your coil and that goes a positive or taco sense of the coil. One's ground for the coil and one's positive in the coil, so I need an extra jumper lady for this. So let's test it out, see how well it works. Okay viewers, I think I figured out how to hook it up on here. We've got the accessories, positive, so when the key is on, that's the ignition switch, ground, coil sense. So positive on the coil. A bit different to these universal gauges, but this one probably needs specifically the, um, a code from the engine computer to run on, in a normal, as it normally would in a, in a fuel injected car. As of this one, it's the universal, it has a sense, then you've got a ground, then you've got a power, and there's a or sense um, ground for the coil. So that's power. So those two wires there are power for the, for the unit. And you've got two other wires here. So that goes a positive, and there's another one sense to um, count the revs. So two are signal wires. So it's a four wire gauge. It's pretty simple to hook up. You've got green, coil positive, white's your sense, or coil negative, and black, ne uh, ground, red's your accessories. So I'll see if this one here works on a carbureted engine with no computer. Sort of um, measures the RPM. And it's just way over the top. Got a fair bit of um, torque on that. I guess the signal that these um, modern packers acquire is a lot different than what one of those universal ones need. But it does work, but very crudely, <laughs> and way off, um, way off. But yeah, that was worth a try, so thanks for watching.